are for coming together, highlighting how much Bradford is growing and attracting incredible entrepreneurs, people who see a, a need and uh, go and fill it themselves, or people who are following their passion um, and working seven days a week, people who are helping others grow their businesses and growing their own on this at the same time, and someone who is just trying to make sure that families get the care that they need and working, uh, working with their community. So it's an honor to be here, and uh, uh, just look forward to seeing you all grow and, and thrive. And we do have uh, quite a few members of the Board of Trade here, and um, I'm not sure, is there somebody that wants to uh, speak for the Board of Trade? Yeah, right, 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 right. right, right. Yeah. Well, welcome, Carlos. And uh, I just want to say uh, it's wonderful to see a, another business opening in town in Bradford with party rentals. And uh, who, who doesn't want to see more parties in town? <laughs> uh, and also, just keeping things local. It's great. You can take care of uh, those who are who have businesses in town. So I just want to say congratulations to both of you and uh, good success in uh, in your business. And I have this little plaque from. Uh, the BBT. Uh, we have some other members here. We have Ryan. We have some members here. But we just want to uh, members of the BBT. The, come on up. Yeah, the BBT. Can I get a photo here? Yeah. Board of Trade members. Ryan. I'm not sure. Don't be shy. Uh, don't be shy. Yeah. Don't be shy. Yeah. Oh, I get a photo. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Congratulations. Uh, yes. Well, one more coming. One more coming. Okay, Cheers. I didn't take off my winter coat. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm short. Okay, great. And I see Caroline has a certificate, so I'll let... Uh, uh, just, uh, on behalf of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, I'm pleased to celebrate with you the grand opening of Bradford Party Rentals. Congratulations. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, I'm pleased to welcome Carlos Valley family to the town of Bradford, West Willingbury. May you enjoy many years of success as part of this community. planning for family gatherings and other celebrations can be both daunting and expensive. Having a one-stop shopping option to assist with preparations is tremendously beneficial. Party rental business is well suited to Bradford with its influx of new families and growing demand for new local services. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit in recognizing the opportunity of a new rental business bringing to our community and I hope this venture is both rewarding and profitable. Please accept the certificate of achievement on the occasion of your grand opening as well as my best wishes for many years of success. So Carlos, do you want to say a few words? Maybe introduce, there's some family members here, and uh, a little bit about your business. First, I want to thank the town of Bradford and the board, uh, the Bradford Board of Trade, for organizing this group of openings. My name is Carlos Valle. I am owner of Bradford Party Rentals. We are a local family business that provides party equipment and as, such as tables, chairs, linens, canopies, glassware, cutlery, water boots. So my idea to start this business came from the need to rent item for my son's first no, uh, birthday. No, but unfortunately, we couldn't no, get any stuff here in Bradford. We have to call Mississauga, Bon, or Berry, right? From now on, Bradford Party Rentals is your no, source for your birthdays, barbecue. Uh, weddings, family reunions, hey. events and festivals. A difference from other companies, we are open seven days a week. 
even you can call us after working hours to book your stuff. Um, for your next events, you just have to worry and bring in the guests and we'll take care of the rest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, I'm pleased to welcome you, Samaya Khan, to the town of Bradford, West Bloomery. You may enjoy many years of success as part of our community. Thank you.
council, if you want to join me, and Councillor Lamb. But, uh, so, dear Shazad, as mayor of the town of Bradford, West Wilmery, and on behalf of our council and residents, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Elders Home as a business uh, in our vibrant business community. Ensuring that our senior residents have local housing and health care options is essential to developing and maintaining an inclusive community. As the median age of our population rises, the need for these services will be increasingly acute. Our council made it a priority to develop assisted living amenities for our senior residents, and I'm pleased to see that you have embraced the opportunity to support seniors by establishing an elder care facility. Entrepreneurs like yourself will be invaluable in meeting the growing demand for services to seniors, and I applaud your efforts to assist these residents. And I'm going to ask you, Councillor Lamb, just to say a few words that... Uh, well, I, know, I, I haven't written a speech, but I'll make one up. Uh, <laughs> Shazia, I first met her when uh, at, uh, at Switzer Cardi Transit, because she was, uh, uh, you know, looking for work and, and uh, got a job as a, as a part-time school bus driver, just like me. And you got to like people to drive a school bus. <laughs> um, and they got to like you. And this lady was always first class professional, always did her circle checks, made sure everything was right, uh, never cut any corners. So I know that in this business, which is really important to our community, because even I am a senior now. I don't purport to speak for all seniors, but <laughs> I got sore knees, and I understand. <laughs> but the need for uh, uh, ongoing care in the community is important, especially in, in their situation, if it's home-based, they feel like they're at home. Mm -hmm. Because what happens when a senior gets torn asunder from their home, and that's basically what it is, if you live in a home for 30 or 40 years, and all of a sudden you've got to leave that home, you better go into a place where you feel comfortable. It's a transition that is comfortable, and I know Shazio and, uh, and her husband will, will provide that, and are providing that. So I'm really pleased that uh, that they took this step forward in our community and in my ward. Can everybody come in really tight? If you move this way, this way. you like have, that wall? We can have this wall instead right. of the window. Yeah. Green is good. You know what? This is, a, this is our children's <laughs> program. <room. laughs> it's available for sponsorship. It's <laughs> a plug for for the library board. success in your, build, your business, Elders Home. Like, what should we do? So, like, 
when you go to seniors' home, you give them care. When they hug you, they kiss you, and they tell you, oh, I love you. When you're coming back, that makes your day, right? <laughs> so that's the things bring us in this uh, business. So we love people. We Then we explore ourselves, okay, we, what type of people we are and what should we do. So that's the only thing, like it brought us to help people, love people, and that's uh, our motto too, love for all, and no, uh, hate for none. So this home is for everyone, no uh, restriction, like uh, should be just, you know, Asian or no restriction, everybody is welcome. We have three uh, residents right now, two of them are just uh, permanently, and one is just respite. So um, their families, they send us uh, their testimonials, they're really happy, as Gary said, like, uh, uh, about the big facility and the small uh, facility is a huge difference. A lady who came up to our facility, she's 94 years old. When she came up, the first, the second day when her daughter came with her husband, the lady said, oh, Peter. So her daughter started crying. She said, you know how after like my mom called or recognized my husband after 15 years. So she said, you know, that makes huge difference. So I can see my mom cannot express herself right now, but I can see the expression on her face, her body language, like she's really happy with you. So, you know, uh, it's make our day, like. Mm -hmm. And this is not a uh, senior home, this is assisted living? Assisted like, living, no yeah. age restriction? So. There's mm -hmm. no age restriction, anybody can come. My daughter is in McMaster University, she's doing neuroscience and behavior. She's also, she's going to complete her fourth year uh, this year. So she's also helping us there. Sometimes we have some respite uh, clients who has some behavior issues. So she's there, she's helping us at that moment. So I'm working with Christian Horizon, a company for uh, nine years now. So as a direct support worker, so I have some behavior um, techniques too. So we can help anybody, like behavior or anybody is welcome to stay with us. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Legislative Assembly of Ontario, I'm pleased to celebrate with you the grand opening of personally yours social media strategies. Congratulations on behalf of the Government of Ontario. I'm pleased to welcome Natasha Leskew to the town of Bradford, West Willowbury, who enjoyed many years of success as part of our community. Thank you very much. Natasha knows every bit as much, if not more, about our town and our members of the social media acumen that she has, and be, being able to, to deal with the issues that, that you see up on social media and to try and uh, calm things down when it's necessary and uh, bring points forward when it is also necessary. So please accept the certificate of achievement on the occasion of your grand opening and all my best wishes for many more years of success. Congratulations. Social media, 
and how it operates with the town. So, on behalf of the BBT, welcome, officially. envision it being so many hours in my home in my pajamas on the internet um, but I can definitely say that I am very happy to have an opportunity to do something that I actually enjoy so um, you know big thanks to the town for the fact that you guys not only have these home-based business celebrations but you guys are so supportive of those of us who choose to work from home and I look forward to branching out and working more within the community so thank you <laughs> 